What's up guys, registered dietitian Kara Corey here, and I've got a great little holiday recipe for you guys to keep you on track through the holidays, but to also help with your sweet tooth. So today we're gonna make a super easy, and this is gonna be a single serve, chocolate mint protein balls. So for today's recipe, we're gonna use the mint cookies and cream in MTS way, and everything's gonna be really simple. We're just gonna put it in a bowl and mix it together. We don't have to bake it or do anything like that. We just form our, <laughs> we're just gonna form our balls. Stay with me now, and we're gonna eat them. Jesus. For this recipe, we're gonna use a half a scoop of the mint cookies and cream. This is like one of my favorite protein flavors, and I kind of always forget about it, but it tastes great in protein shakes and so many recipes. So make sure you guys check that one out if you don't have it. If you don't have it and still wanna make this recipe, you could just use a chocolate and then add in, Stevia makes like peppermint flavor drops. You could add that in there as well to get the peppermint chocolate flavor. But moving on, we're gonna add a tablespoon of all our other ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna use is the special dark cocoa. Add that in there to make it extra chocolatey. And I do recommend going with the extra dark because it just, it tastes better to me than the regular chocolate one, so. One tablespoon of that. We're gonna add in some flour, and I'm using coconut flour today, and I also recommend you guys use coconut flour because of the consistency it gives it, as well as the sweetness that the coconut flour provides that like a wheat or an oat flour won't provide. So that's why we use the coconut. And again, we're gonna do one full tablespoon. Next, for our sweetener, I'm gonna use Splenda and one tablespoon of that. All right, next up, we are gonna add a tablespoon of egg whites. I'm just using Egg Beater's uh, carton version. These are pasteurized, so anytime you buy a liquid egg white in this form, it is pasteurized, which means it is safe to consume raw, so you don't have to worry about that. Whoa, whoa. Last ingredient, we're gonna add a tablespoon of milk. Whoop, I just can't with this tablespoon. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more, got a little sloppy. And that should be everything. We're gonna go ahead and mix it up. So because I did not properly, with my tablespoon, I poured a little too much in. If you find that your consistency is a little too wet where you can't form it into the balls, you can add a little bit more coconut flour or a little bit more protein. In this case, I'm gonna add a little bit more of our protein. Okay, so once you've got everything mixed together, you can either make one big ball or you can do a couple separate balls, um, but this is a single serve portion, so macros are great for just one person if you're in the mood for a sweet treat. I'm gonna just scoop this into two balls, because that's just what I like. But no offense if you like one ball. Let's, whoop. Plop it. God, I'm gonna get you sticky. All right, guys, so your batter is gonna be a little bit sticky once you've mixed it up. So if you want, you can go ahead and put this in the fridge if you wanna chill it or in the freezer. Um, otherwise, you're good to go to go ahead and eat these. If you wanna get a little bit extra with it, you could even make it a little more seasonal, drizzle a little white chocolate on there, crush a little candy cane on top, and then you've got a very little aesthetic treat. But macros on these are great. It's very quick to whip up and it will definitely satisfy that seasonal sweet tooth you might be having. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do create this recipe, be sure to tag me on the Instagrams at Karakori Fit Life. Be sure to head over to tigerfitness.com. Stock up, get your ladies some, some supplements, get your gents, your ladies some goods for the holidays. And we will see you in the next video.